Recently I made a video about Arch Labs Linux, so today we'll be taking a look at theming, how to change the look and feel of this distro. So the first thing I think we should start off with is changing the mouse cursor. So what you can do is open up the ter terminal and type in sudo pacman-sy freeze. And now let that load up. So once that's finished downloading, what you can do is press the super key and go to the settings manager. Then click on mouse and touchpad. And then under theme, you should be able to have the cursors now. Uh, the thing that's kind of weird um, is for some reason, after I have installed the cursors, uh, they don't apply. They actually do apply. Like right now, if I turn on the web browser, as you can see, the cursor applies. But for some reason, it goes back to normal. Um, so this is most likely because I haven't installed the distro myself and there are a ton of updates that are awaiting. But um, if I do find the fix, I will post a comment about it. But this is how you do install them. And also, if you want to install these icons manually, you can go to the, oops, not the text editor, the file manager, and then go to this folder and then share, and then look for icons. And so this is the folder that you should be taking a look at. As you can see, Breeze is here. Um, and so once you install an icon theme and you extract it, you can right click on this folder, open as root, and then you're allowed to uh, paste the folder onto this, uh, inside of this folder. So that's how you can manually install uh, icons in general. <clears throat> All right, so that's that for the mouse. So what I want is to make this look, give it kind of like a budgie look. So let's do this so let's do pseudo pacman dash sy let's install the adaptive themes all right now once that's done you can right click go to preferences open box and then settings gui and when you scroll up as you can see you have adapta Adapt to Nocto. And hmm, I remember there was a third one, but you have these two options which change the title bar uh, and essentially <clears throat> it changes, uh, it depends on what menu color you want. So it can be white or it can be darker. Uh, and now, once you open the file manager, actually. Hold on. <clears throat> As you can see, only the title bar changed and the right clicking uh, menu. So if you want to change uh, the actual window, what you'll have to do is go back to the settings manager and then you can click on appearance. And then right here you have the adapt uh, options for your themes as well. So here's where we have the three options. So you can make uh, the colors fit. Um, also, you can do the same way uh, or manually uh, install icon themes. Um, and for the icons, they are under appearance and then icons right here. So along with the breeze themes for the cursor, uh, you also have some icon themes as well. But I do think that Arch Labs uh, has some nice icons. Looks like a modified version of Papyrus, or however you pronounce it. So, next up, if you don't want your Conky, for example, you go to Preferences, Conky, Conky Chooser, and then you can get rid of this one. For um, wallpapers, if you have installed a new wallpaper, and let's say that your wallpaper is under 
the downloads folder for example what you can do is you can go to preferences uh, wallpaper slash background and then if you if you do have an image and try to right click on it and click set as background uh, it's probably not going to work so you can go to preferences and then click on the plus add button choose your folder whether it's pictures downloads whatever and then once you choose your folder uh, and click OK your image should appear here but for the sake of the video I'll just change the wallpaper anyway next up if you want to change your panel up here to give it a more traditional look what you can do is you can go to uh, polybar and then stop bars and then you can go to preferences again and then tint to settings I would suggest using the first one let's see oh, okay so what you have to do is go to preferences and then you have to do change panel slash dock and click setup tint 2 in order for your panel to appear and now I don't know what happened with the previous one but once you have selected a theme that you desire you can go and click on edit theme and now keep in mind if you want the panel color and style to be a bit more like um, like the budgie style uh, you should have the same option that I had uh, that I accidentally got rid of I don't know where it went I don't know why it got removed um, but that just makes things easier for you but for example as you can see you only have the time here um, so we're gonna wanna add some system tray icons and all that type of stuff uh, and also before that uh, here in the backgrounds tab you have uh, many options here uh, regarding the color so if you want to change the panel color itself to let's say even just red or whatever you can select that and easily apply it alright this still gives reddish color okay um, so you can go to panel and then you can change uh, which side you want it to be on so a lot of people are used to uh, being at the top side so you can do that you can adjust the size of it to whatever you want oh and also keep in mind um, this theme specifically um, shows the tabs kind of uh, more like uh, actual tabs instead of icons so that's also if you prefer icons as uh, for your applications you can uh, you know choose the the theme that I accidentally closed as well uh, for panel items if you want the uh, let's see here so the these ones here like for example system tray doesn't really do much so what you can do is you can go to launcher and let's say you want the um, like volume control you can click on it then click the left arrow um, also you, you can remove some unnecessary applications that are already here um, let's see if you want for example the power manager you can also put it here and I'm just gonna use these two as an example so it first appears kind of glitched so I recommend uh, clicking clicking on the icons so as you can see once I've clicked on that on the power manager it comes here as a system tree icon same thing should happen for the sound and so the so once you click on the icons they come here to the right side as um, as uh, the system tray so uh, if you want to adjust say the icon size you can do that to whatever you want you can change 
uh, spacing, all, all these other types of settings over here. So this, so this as a whole, you can uh, of course mess around with it a bit more, uh, but I'll just, I'm just showing you guys the basics uh, to give it a more, like I guess, traditional look and feel. And again, um, as you saw earlier, the theme that I tried to select um, did look a lot more normal or not not necessarily normal but traditional than this so this doesn't look that much like budgie right now uh, simply because uh, I couldn't get that panel f again for some reason I don't know why that that panel the theme um, just disappeared like that but again like I said I recommend using that one and uh, just editing the theme and going along with your options uh, and then yeah you're still gonna have your right click menu the way it is you're gonna have everything else but now you have your overall theme your mouse cursor oops not that and of course you have all these settings that you can change and this is pretty much just simple way to show you guys how to just install some themes, apply them, mess around with the panel, and you know some little tips and tricks about this distro. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, write them in the comments, and I'll just try to help you out however much I can. And yeah, thanks for watching, and have a good one.